So, Peter, Spy, the new movie that you're in, um, can you tell us a bit about it? And what's it like working with such a big British cast as well in a Hollywood film? <clears throat> well, uh, it was... Uh, the Spy, uh, mm. the film, is uh, it's a uh, comedy set in the world of espionage. I mean, I'm just guessing I haven't seen it, but I'm just guessing that from the, from the title. Uh, no, I have seen it. And, uh, yeah, it's, um, it, it's, it's a funny spy film like a spy comedy that like is it doesn't look like a spoofy goofy uh, comedy film it looks like a real actual uh, spy spy movie like it could be a another born at, at some point you know and uh, and yeah the, and the British cast thing is like uh, I, I think it, it it's getting more usual now for for people to, for British people to be in these big films, you know, uh, you know, I think I know Paul is is a big fan of English comedy, and everyone that I know is into like, like in sort of British comedy and actors and stuff. But we we all we all love American comedy as well, and I think you know with the internet and stuff and and fax machines, we we we, we all kind of we're connected a lot more now than. Uh, than, than we were 10 years ago. And we've all got like, we all know each other's sense of humor, you know, it's sort of different, it was basically the same. And uh, yeah, and I guess like someone like Statham is, uh, he kind of transcends any sort of, he's just like Jason Statham, you know, and it doesn't matter where he's from. <laughs> he's like, once you get to a certain level, it's like, you know, you know he could be from Venus, you know, and uh, doesn't matter. He's just like Jason Statham. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Is it is it easy to mesh the two American and British senses of humour? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think it is. I don't know. Um, it's, uh, as I said, uh, you know, I think they're pretty similar. And, uh, you know, we all watch the same TV shows and films and stuff. And, you know, we all have the same shops, you know. There's a joke, my character Aldo is like, uh, uh, he makes a joke about it him having the name of a, a, a shoe shop and it's like well we have those shops here you know and uh, and you go yeah so I guess we're all kind of similar really uh, uh, yeah sorry I, I, was, I was a bit worried when I saw Aldo first of all on screen to be honest and I thought yeah. the character was going to go one way but there's a great reveal which we won't spoil towards the end which kind of makes it all make sense was that something that you read first of all uh, no it wasn't it was something that uh it was something that Paul came up. Well, it was actually Paul came up with the idea, and then uh, um, and then we both sort of developed this stupid idea, and that fit into the plot of the film. And uh, uh, and yeah, uh, it, but no, that wasn't there when I first uh, when I first read the part. Uh, but it was great fun to do, though. <laughs> it, was, sure. it was great. And can you tell us a bit about working with Melissa as well in this film? Uh, Melissa is. I, I think I've been the most impressed by anybody that I've ever worked with, like professionally, like as an actor and like as a comedy actor, whatever. Uh, she's been the one where I've gone, wow, oh my God, you know, uh, wow, you know. It was like, there were some scenes, that, you know, it's like, a, it's a comedy, but like it's, it's played in a sort of real world, you know. And there were some bits where I was just like, I was watching her, we'd do take after take and like, I was like, wow, this is like kind of sort of like being in the Godfather. <laughs> you know, she's amazing. You know, she's like, whew, yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, I thought, well, you know, I need to, uh, I need to get some acting lessons. Excellent. And then the uh, final question, just quickly, and um, we've all seen the Star Wars trailer now. What are you expecting from that? Uh, I've got high hopes for it, and um, I'm, I'm just. Ex as ex uh, excited as a little kid would be about it, uh, uh, and I, I thought that teaser was was just you know with Mark Hamill's voice at the beginning, which was like a mix of like the old and new stuff, and then you know Harrison Ford and Chewbacca at the end. Oh my God! I hope he doesn't ruin it. Yeah, so I think that's the reaction we all had. So um, yeah, but yeah. thank you, thank you very much, Peter. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, thank you, thank man. you, thank Cheers. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Yeah.